all the men on this rugby team are either gay, bisexual or a straight supporter of the LGBT plus community. The Kings Cross Steelers first played 23 years ago. At the time it was a way for gay men to play the sport they loved in a safe environment. Not much has changed and for some it's the best thing they've ever done. I broke up with my ex-boyfriend and <clears throat> I basically lost all my friends in the process and was just like, oh my god, I need to do something and, and get involved. So I joined the Steelers and made so, so many friends and it's, it's literally been a life-changing event, it really has. This might look just like any other rugby practice, but to these men, it's so much more than that. It's not just a chance for them to run around, get a bit muddy and let off some steam. It's a chance for them to really talk to each other about what's going on in their daily lives. If I've got a problem, I know that I can message my boys and, and get help. If I need to talk about something, they are there for me every single time. So it, it's just amazing. The Steelers have travelled all over the world to compete against other teams. And along the way, they've helped change attitudes to gay sportsmen and women. I think that's really fantastic because we've played against um, some sort of straight, straight teams um, and everyone is always really um, inclusive and welcoming. So I think that's really positive and I think that's also a sign of um, where rugby is at and the fact that it is an inclusive and welcoming sport in general. The squad has become more of a family than a team and the chairman wants that to continue. We are there for each other when we need each other. Um, you know, we have to be able to talk, we have to be able to speak um, and being part of uh, a brotherhood like this allows us to do that. It's not always big things, it's not always big chats, it's just that little you know, pat on the shoulder after a game or uh, in the bar. It's sort of, sometimes it's you know, about a direct message. We have support structures but friendship and just being able to enjoy yourself is something that really helps. So in a time when men's mental health is in the headlines, the Steelers are a shining example of how it should be done. Paul Murphy-Casp, BBC London News.